everyone how are you i hope you all are doing great so in today's video we will learn about a really new feature that salesforce has given us in the summer 26 release and that is now we can search and display data in data table results in screen flows so uh, before that uh, before the summer 23 release uh, we have a feature data table uh, with which we can show data to the users or let the user select a uh, single rows or multiple rows uh, between those data table but now what Salesforce has given us is uh, it has given us a search bar with which a user can search the data they want to select or they want to see okay let's see what it says first uh, it says search and display data table results in screen flows now users can search and filter their data table record results as I told you the search returns the first 1500 items so let's say you have 5000 records in your data table uh, so the search will return the first 1500 items according to what search term you are typing in the search bar. Uh, initially 200 records display as you scroll through the results additional records load progressively in groups of 100. So that means uh, if you search for a particular term then 1500 records top 1500 will show up but initially you will see only 200 records. Uh, after that, when you will scroll through the result, additional uh, 100, 100 loads of group uh, will add to the results. Okay, okay. So let's try this in our org and uh, let's try this example as well. So this update is not uh, generally available till now. Uh, so if you want to check these updates, what you have to do is uh, you have to register for a pre-release summer 23 org. Okay. I'll just add the pre-release uh, org registration link in the description box so you can just click on the link from the description box and uh, this page will appear. In this page you will just fill out some details and you will sign up for the trial summer 23 release org okay. Once you have signed up for this you will get your brand new summer 23 org and in this you will get all the features that Salesforce has in the summer 23 release okay. So. Uh, we are at the flow screen now. Let's create a new flow and check out how this feature works. So uh, we are selecting screen flow because we want to show the data table. Okay, let's click on create and let's click on the plus sign. Uh, you can see there is no plus sign. Then when you hover it, the plus sign appears. That is one of the summer 23 release updates as well. We'll just talk about it later in some other video. Let's click on the plus button. And what we are doing is we are creating a record collection variable first. Let's get all the accounts and then we will show the accounts in the data table. Let's get all the accounts and all records. Click on done. Okay, you know the drill how you can use a get records element. I don't have to describe it uh, fully here. Okay, let's click on the plus sign again and take a screen element. Okay, now in the screen element, we will add a data table and in the data table, we will show the collection variable of accounts. Okay, let's name it um, account table. Okay, and here we will select our record collection variable, which is accounts from get accounts. Now, this is the main part. There's a checkbox which says show search bar. Let's hover on the I button. It says Select to allow flow user to search the data table results. So if you want your flow users to search between your results, just check on this checkbox. Uh, before this release, this checkbox was not here. And as you click on the checkbox, see the search text box on the data table here. Okay. Uh, let's just name the screen first. Data table screen. And now let's configure the data table. Okay. Uh, let's say we just want to show the users the list. Now let's configure the column and let's keep it simple. Just add account name here. Okay. Uh, this is done. Let's click on done. Okay. So this is done. Now we don't have to do anything else in our flow. Let's just save it very quickly. Data table search bar. Okay, uh, uh, now let's just debug to check the results. Let's 
from the flow and here you can see here is our flow that is our screen data table search part and in this we have our data table now what is new this header is new here you can see we have a search bar which says search this list now let's say for an example i'll type oil and i will just enter it so when you type oil and enter it will search all the accounts name which contains the word oil okay this can be the starting word this can be in between the account name this can be anywhere if the account name contains oil it will show in the results so that is all for search bar so here on the left hand side you can see it says showing three of three items because there are three items and the total item uh, are also three why this is three of three items because we can see three items in a single screen as you read here uh, the document says that the search returns the first 1500 items but initially the 200 records will display so let's say for example uh, the oil search makes it to 1500 items but you will see 200 items on the display initially as the document says so what it will show is showing 200 or 1500 items okay then you will scroll down you will get 100 more items then it will show you showing 300 or 1500 items okay so this label is useful if you have more than 200 records found uh, when you are searching from the search bar okay Okay, now let's say you have searched for your accounts. Now you want to uh, go back to all list of accounts and you want to see all the list of accounts. Then uh, how will that happen? That will happen just by removing this oil and clicking on enter again. Once you click on enter on the blank search list, this will show you all the list of accounts. Okay, uh, now one scenario that comes to my mind uh, that makes this search thing very, very useful is that uh, creating an order process and you have uh, multiple number of books and you want the users to select the books according to their requirement and go to the checkout page then uh, if this feature was not there the user will see lots of books names and uh, he will just scroll down go through the names and then select the books that they want to select but with the search bar uh, that makes the user work easy they can just uh, easily type the name of the book that they want or the search term like uh, if they want to search for sample account but they don't know the full name they can just search for account and the sample account uh, will appear in the search list and uh, same as for books if they know uh, the middle word of the book name as well or the last word of the book name as well they can just type it here and click on the enter button and the book will appear in the search list and i think that will be a very uh, less time consuming task and that will be very useful for the user uh, to go to the checkout process very faster okay so that was just one example of course you can use it in multiple ways according to your requirement that is just a simple example of showing the account list and uh, searching the account according to the name okay uh, that is it that's all that's all for today's video that was today's example i hope you found this useful I'll be coming with a more Summer 23 release for you. So stay tuned for that. And uh, till then, please uh, sign up for the pre-release hot so you can take benefit or you can be familiar with the Summer 23 release updates. I'll see you super soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and keep learning.